Actress Alison Hannigan has made a name for herself as one of TV's most popular performers. Whether it was her role as Willow Rosenberg in the cult favorite Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or her portrayal of Lily Aldrin on the hit CBS sitcom How I Met Your Mother, Alison is one of the few Hollywood celebs lucky enough to have brought multiple iconic characters to life. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shortly after the cameras stopped rolling on the final season of Buffy in 2003, Allison would marry her co-star from the series, Alexis Denisoff, and over the next two years, they'd start a family together. That now includes their two daughters, Tatiana Marie and Kiva Jane. Around a year or so prior to getting hitched, Allison and Alexis paid $1.96 million for a family home in Santa Monica, California, a picture-perfect 4,200 square foot Spanish style bungalow. Originally constructed in the 1930s, this quintessential California home boasts five bedrooms, four bathrooms, as well as two half baths. It also sits in the city's highly sought after north of Montana Avenue neighborhood, a spot known for its tree lined streets, upscale boutiques, and mouth watering restaurants. Over the course of their decade plus ownership, Allison and Alexis updated the two story home while still retaining its original charm. The interior now boasts dark hardwood floors, exposed beams, wide curvaceous doorways, French doors, unusual chandeliers, as well as a bright open layout. As for the kitchen, it was renovated to include subway tiles, white cabinets, and gold drawer pulls. Then there's the living room, which looks like it was probably the kids' favorite spot to hang out, with its child-sized tent, activity table, play kitchen, and even a few floating paper fish. Of course, no home is complete without a master suite, and this one includes a balcony, fireplace, and even a sitting room all its own. It also includes a master bath with an oversized soaking tub and a separate steam shower. Rounding everything out is the backyard. This space features a swimming pool and spa, as well as an exterior spiral staircase that leads directly to the second floor. Towards the end of the 2010s, Allison and her family started playing a game of musical houses. Now don't worry, we'll get into where they're headed next, but in terms of this residence, all you need to know is that they originally tried renting the location out for around $17,500 per month. Eventually, however, they decided to simply move off the property altogether. In 2018, they listed this home for $5.1 million, and a few months later, they sold it for $4.9 million. Afterwards, Allison and her family headed across town to their new home. A few years before moving out of their Santa Monica zip code, Allison and her hubby bought a much larger home in Brentwood for a reported $8 million. It's unclear if the family ever wound up moving in here as their ownership only lasted for about a year. Is that it's far more likely they bought this property with this intent of flipping it. In terms of what the home was like, it's a four bedroom, six bath, New England style charmer, originally built in 1936. It's also the type of spot that combines the comforts of a rock fireplace and built-in bookcases with the glitz and glamour of crown moldings and French doors that open up to a blue stone patio and swimming pool. Upstairs, the primary bedroom was a private terrace and a fireplace all its own. Not far from there is also a light-filled office that could be repurposed into a handy gym area. But the home's main selling point might very well be its three-room guest house which not only boasts vaulted ceilings, but skylights and a wall of French doors that also lead out towards the pool. Over the 12 or so months that she owned the place, Allison revamped the spot with refinished floors, fresh paint, and a remodeled kitchen that now features new appliances, marble countertops, and a farmhouse style sink lit by brand new lighting fixtures. Even after all that, the home didn't end up selling for much more. After buying it a year earlier for 8 mil, Allison and Alexis offloaded the place for $8.15 million, earning themselves around $150,000 in surplus money. I mean, it's not a lot, but apparently enough to land them their next home. Because they almost immediately turned around and dropped another 8 million on a three-acre compound, also located in Encino. 
Known as the Sherman Residence, Allison's new residence was originally built in 2001 by architect Peter Tolkien, and it's made up of a series of board formed concrete, wooden glass pavilions, connected by gallery spaces that, when taken as a whole, define a central courtyard as well. Outside, the 3.3 acre property offers a spacious patio, pool, as well as bocce and tennis courts. The landscape is also dotted with oaks, sycamores, orange, and avocado trees. As for the 6,500 square foot primary structure, it's decked out with limestone floors, poured concrete walls, high wood beam ceilings, designer light fixtures, and warm wooden accents. There are also walls of glass that provide natural light as well as seamless transitions between the indoor and outdoor environments. Other highlights include a fireside great room, a formal dining room, media room, and a family room that connects to a gourmet kitchen with cozy breakfast nook. Elsewhere is the upscale master suite with a separate office plus a spa inspired bathroom that includes a steel soaking tub and an extra large shower. With the outdoors being such a key part of this home's construction, it boasts a sprawling patio with numerous spots for alfresco lounging and entertaining, as well as that pool, a plot for gardening and a lighted tennis court with a viewing pavilion. In addition to the main house, there's also a one bedroom guest house with its own kitchen, as well as an art studio with a full bath and office attached to a three car garage that hosts an upstairs bedroom. Much like with their former homes, Allison's family updated this spot over their stay here by adding the skylights and sprucing up the grounds. But then something even more interesting happened. Allison wound up renting her home out for use by one of TV's most popular series, This Is Us. In addition to being a TV actress's actual home, Allison's family house has also served time over the years as a set piece location for a series like Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well as movies such as Fun with Dick and Jane and Fracture. Of course, all that was long before Allison moved in, and after she did so, she promised herself that she wouldn't let any production take over her home. Well, she almost kept that promise, but after finding out that her next door neighbor was a regular director for the series This Is Us, well, Allison agreed to let the series use her abode as the home that Kevin built for his mom, Rebecca, in memory of his late father, Jack. Which means that the property can be seen multiple times throughout the final season of the show in a number of flash forward sequences. But you want to know what's even better than having your home show up in one of TV's most hit shows? Having the production fix up your house after they leave. Allison says that after they wrapped filming, industrious crew members took the time to do some repair work as a way to thank her for letting them use the space. With her gorgeous home now fresh in everyone's mind thanks to its major placement on the small screen, Allison then made the calculated decision to move her family off the property to see what she could get for it. And guess what? She made a killing. Just two months after listing the home, entertainment industry executive David Levensfeld would fork over $16 million to buy the place. That's double what Allison originally invested in the home only a few years earlier. Hannigan and her family then moved moved on to a new residential space, returning to their original neighborhood of Santa Monica. Over recent months, Allison's family have settled into a contemporary showpiece they had to win a bidding war to secure. Records suggest that the actress and her husband paid almost $6.7 million, or about $155,000 over the asking price for their newest digs. Originally designed and built in 2000, this boxy looking structure has since been completely remodeled modeled during the intervening years. Today, the property includes a main home with four bedrooms and an equal number of baths, plus an extra dwelling on top of the detached garage that offers two more bedrooms, a kitchen, and a bath. Taken as a whole, the 3,835 square feet of minimalistic living space boasts a blend of cement alongside wide plank white oak floors as well as custom recessed lighting and walls of glass that lead outside. A highlight of the main level is an open concept great room that features a large living room with built-in surround sounds and glass pocketing doors that spill out towards the grounds. There's also a dining area that's been accented by a duo of glass enclosed wine displays and a five star kitchen where there's even a hidden door that swivels open to reveal a walk-in pantry that includes a sink as well as an extra fridge and freezer. Located elsewhere on the property is a bonus space that could be used as either an office or a kid's playroom and an ensuite guest bedroom with its very own entrance. 
Two more ensuite guest rooms each with a wraparound balcony can be found upstairs, while the spacious master bedroom displays a fireplace and a luxurious bathroom with a walk-in shower and soaking tub that's filled directly from the ceiling. Outdoors, the grassy grounds might only span half an acre, but that's still enough room to host a fully hedged backyard with a pool and spa. Along with a wooden deck, just begging for use with alfresco dining, thanks to its barbecue and fridge setup. Well, there you have it, the many homes of Allison Hannigan, including her newest family residence. Now that we've seen the ins and outs of her former spots, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. But before you head out, consider answering the following question. If Hollywood came calling to use your home as a location for a popular TV series, would you let them? Let me know if you'd want 100 people crawling all over your home for weeks at a time, just so you can see your house show up on TV. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Carrie the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.